The unified government of Wyandotte County KCK is still trying to get to the bottom of that cyber attack hitting its data centers on Monday. That hack could impact thousands of residents. Chris Kane, BCN's Jackson Kurtz in Kansas City, Kansas, live after speaking to a cyber expert. So, Jackson, what should people do if their information's been stolen? Well, that cybersecurity expert says there's not much you can do if your information is leaked in this big of a data breach. In this attack alone, at least seven different services in the UG were impacted. After a massive data breach within the unified government in KCK. The scary thing about it is that it's so easy for local criminals to get access to that information. Cyber attack tech expert Burton Kelso says getting ID theft protection should be the first priority. It's important that everyone, no matter how small you are, takes steps to protect customer, client, or, you know, consumer information. The unified government says it's been working to restore services and data access to numerous services. If you go to the top left side of the Unified Government's website, you can find a link that lists some of the services that have been breached, like District Court, Motor Vehicles, and Parks and Rec, and then read what to do if that info has been compromised. I know it's kind of a challenge because most people don't want to think that their information may be floating around on the dark web, but it is obviously a sign that more county, state, and government industries need to take better care of the information that they have. Now we reached out to the Unified Government to get an update in the data breach, but we're still waiting to hear back. In KCK, Jackson Kurtz, KBC 9 News. All right, Jackson, thanks. The UG says the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, and the Mid-America Regional Council Cybersecurity Task Force 